Hello friends and family and good morning from Lakeland, Florida. Today's adventure brings us to the Lakeland Antique Mall. They have a great assortment of highly sought after Disney and Universal Studios collectibles, but also there's a bunch of individual booths. It's almost like a Disney outlet store mall. You're gonna find like new ears from the parks, old ears, popcorn buckets, pins, lounge flies, you name it. They have a little bit of everything here and something for everybody in like the higher end collectibles as well. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. Some signage up ahead for the Lakeland Antique Mall. It's actually sandwiched in between Lowe's and Chuck E. Cheese there, but it is so beautiful outside today. Look how green the trees are. Just a beautiful, almost like a springtime day here in Florida. The great thing about the Lakeland Antique Mall, though, it is about 45 minutes or so, give or take, from Walt Disney World property. It's always worth coming out here, though, finding like the rare theme park relics. You'll find different ears that you can't find in the parks and all sorts of really fun collectibles. And here's the antique mall right ahead. And it's crazy that they have so much Disney stuff. It's very unassuming. Like you wouldn't even think that. The sign just says antique mall. There's plenty of parking. And of course, like you'll find other like really cool like vintage items, some home decor and all sorts of things, even on Disney related. So as soon as you come inside the antique mall, they do have an entire star jet. This was one of the ride vehicles actually used at the uh, Magic Kingdom. You can see right on top there, like the people mover and then actual picture of the star jets. Like that's for sale here at the antique mall. And how about this refurbished turnstile that they have? It says, welcome to Magic Kingdom Walt Disney World, open 1971. And even more ride vehicles. This one's from Disneyland, the uh, Space Mountain attraction, but it has all of the original original pieces, the lap bars, you could even see like the uh, speakers here for the stereo system. I like how they put all the Disney characters inside of that, but some really cool pieces of Walt Disney World and Disneyland history. Like I was saying though, you're even going to find some Universal Studios items and this is literally as soon as you come into the antique mall. They do have a huge Velociraptor that was used at Universal Orlando Resort. They have Lil Boo down there as well. A really cool photo op, but you can actually purchase Lil bow that's really cool from Halloween Horror Nights and they do have bins upon bins of Disney theme park pins like you can kind of get lost inside here they do have a nice little double pack there of Mickey and Minnie this whole bin is priced uh, ten dollars and up they have some uh, Splash Mountain pins so you're gonna find a good assortment of different offerings here like look at this one it says friendship with Anna and Elsa that one's really sparkly looks like they do have some Christmas pins you got Mickey as a Santa Claus a little to and from tag let's see what else we got doing here here's a Star Wars one it's a limited release pin as well but there are literally just tons and tons of bins as soon as you come inside here to the Lakeland Antique Mall. This is like a framed pin. you got to Ariel the Little Mermaid. And how about this one with a uh, Daisy Duck? This is actually from 2011. Like how crazy is that? And still here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. You got like best friends, Mickey and Minnie. And this one over here is celebrating 90 years. How cool is that with Pluto? He actually has like a little uh, gazoo in his mouth. That one's really neat. And then over here, okay, this is an actually Disneyland, Disneyland Resort pin for annual pass holders. I've never seen that before. That's really cool to find. Yet another Frozen pin, and look at this, Anna and Elsa are like inside of the heart, and it says Disney Frozen. So some really good offerings of different pins that you'll find here inside of the bins, but they do have some like rare collectibles. The good stuff's always behind the glass case. They have some uh, cast member awards. That one's to Lawrence for 15 magical years at the Walt Disney World Company. Over here, this is a Disney De Jumbo Destination pin, 75 years of animation. That one is $48 with Snow White on there. And here's a really cool set. You actually get a set 
of uh, seven different pins there for all Walt Disney World. Uh, let's see here, resorts, back from 2010, $128 for that. And here's a Disney lounge fly behind the case there. Look at that with uh, Pinocchio. That one's really cool. They even have a, a box set in the back there, the Disney Cruise Line Panama Canal. Also up front here by the pins, they do have a popcorn bucket that I haven't seen before. Look at that though, you got Mickey and Minnie striking a pose in front of Epcot. You have Magic Kingdom, Donald Duck, the Tree of Life, and Goofy. That is really cool. And then over here, let's see what we got doing. This is a Disney limited release a pin and lithograph from Frozen. That is really cool. You get the Frozen pin there with Anna, Elsa, and then Olaf. But they do have a bunch of assorted, like, whole uh, pin sets here. Look at this. You get, let's see here, 11 different pins. Yeah, that's cool. Like, find a whole collection of 11 pins. And then right underneath there is a bunch of, let's see here, like, Jim Shore statues and whatnot. Like, look at that one there of Mickey Mouse with the Santa hat. They have a really neat one as well on the back side there. It looks like they're all in, like, a uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves mine car. Let's continue a little bit further on our way here though and see what else we can find. But like as you can see, each row is individually numbered. Lots of different vendors. You're going to find things that aren't Disney related, things that are Disney related. This booth here does have a bunch of uh, snow globes and whatnot, but it looks like they do have the 50th anniversary studded Starbucks tumblers. That's really cool to find here for the 50th anniversary. Let's actually check out some of the snow globes. This is a Disney um, Incredibles one. That one is $70, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Here, one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. This one is, let's see here, Aladdin and Jasmine, the whole new world snow globe. You even have the genie's lamp on top. But how about this statue that they have right here? This is crazy, phantasmic, maleficent, light up figure. Um, Taylor Mickey, battle scene from D23. Yeah, that's definitely like a whole mouthful. That is incredible though. I bet you all these flames light up. The same booth does have a bunch of like collectible figurines and whatnot. Like this is Mickey, almost looks like a Run Disney one. This from back in 2000, that's $25. They have a very dapper Mickey and Minnie in the back section. That one's really, really cool. Let's see what else we got doing. We got Bambi and Thumper. And then underneath there, look at this. You got like Chef Mickey. He comes with the little hat there and the whole box set. That whole statue is $110. And they even have some really neat like Precious Moments type ones with Mickey and Minnie. It's his happy birthday. Happy 75th birthday, I should say. And a bunch of assorted like smaller figurines in this cabinet. From Pluto, Daisy Duck, we have uh, Donald. And look at this one here with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They do even have some more current items like I was saying like this is the 50th anniversary collector statue with Mickey and Minnie all decked out in their costumes. It does come with the 50th anniversary collector's base $250 and check out some of the really rare like dolls that they do have. This is an Alice in Wonderland set of five different ones. It looks like they do have the entire set of these dolls $375 for all five of them. And literally just one section over, they have some Disney Haunted Mansion, Tombstone bookends. This one here is Dear Departed Brother Dave, he chased a bear into a cave. And then good old Fred lies here. Those are $60 a piece. Right up ahead though is a very nice size uh, backpack with Winnie the Pooh. It says don't feed the bear. You got the uh, fuzzy end of Winnie the Pooh there. That one's $75. And they do have a, a Dooney and Burke Lady and the Tramp. Let's see here, crossbody size bag. That was really neat though. I like the dog tags all over the place. And you'll even find some like Disney Cruise Line magic bands like you have in the back section there. Here's a uh, Disney watch as well with Mickey Mouse. That one's $25. Here's some really cool items though. Like they do have some Disney security. Um, set of four mugs. Those glass mugs are only $35 for the set of four of them. So those are actually pretty rare. And here is a Disney uh, Jolly Roger statue from a uh, Peter Pan. It has the base there that says Peter Pan. That's really cool to find here. And how about the big plushie that they have of Stitch? He's $60, but I feel like he's perfect for Easter with all the pastel colors. Let's continue on our way though and see what else we can find here at the Antique Mall. This entire case is loaded with awesome like Disney statues and Dooney and Burke and Loungefly. They have this one with uh, Woody and Bo Peep. Look at the heart zipper compartment. That's really cool. Right next door they do also have the Incredibles Loungefly. $55 for that. 
I always love the sequence ones though, and this one's really fun because they actually paired it up with the matching ruby red sequence ears. That whole set is $225. And these are like some of the lounge flies you'll find over at like Hot Topic and whatnot. This is a uh, Little Mermaid. Look at the zipper pull though with Flounder. That one is $65. What else have we got going on here though? Look at the statue of Mickey Mouse. That is really, really cool. Walt Disney Parks and Resorts. So this statue is from back in 2006, $125. They do have a little set of bubble bar earrings from the holiday collection. You got Mickey and Minnie for $28. Mickey's wearing a Santa hat. And check out the small size lounge flies. These are cool though, like this one is actually a Disney Cruise Line one. You can see the cruise insignia. They do have a couple different Christmas ornaments in this cabinet with all of the uh, Haunted Mansion characters from Madame Leota. You got the bride, the hatbox ghost, and also Disney's Animal Kingdom giraffe ears. Those are really sparkly with all the sequins. I like the oversized bow. They also have some Kate Spade items inside of this case. This is a uh, Minnie Mouse. Let's see here, crossbody size bag, $200 for that. The bottom side of this case here, you have a Walt Disney, let's see here, 50th Cinderella Castle lounge fly wallet. I don't even think I've ever seen that before. That is a cool little find. They have a Disney Boba Fett uh, Star Wars lounge fly wallet right there, $50. And again, these are all brand new. You have a cake topper with Mickey and Minnie. Oh, that is so nice for a wedding. Look at Minnie Mouse in her uh, bridal dress. Even some uh, lounge fly, let's see here, wallet cases they're calling these. With the uh, evil witch there, you got one of Ursula. That's really, really cool. And check out the backside there. They have a really fun pair of ears. This is what I mean though, you really have to look everywhere. They do have this little uh, cove where there's a bunch of Halloween Horror Night things and whatnot. This is from the Cursed Coconut Club over at Universal Studios City Walk. So this signage is from uh, 2023. And they do also have from Universal Studios, this is Universal Halloween Horror Night photo op. This is the Hillbilly Deluxe Scare Zone 2019 Dragula car. This is awesome. This is on display here by the Vault Collectibles in the back section of the Lakeland Antique Mall. But how crazy awesome is this to see this vehicle? You can take pictures with it or purchase it for that matter. You can see the seating on the back, the front, literally the entire vehicle is here and it looks incredible. Like look at the lights on the front section with the cobwebs. Very, very nice attention to detail. Also in the back section, they do have a huge banner for Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights Never Go Alone. So this was from HHN30. And they do also have some more signage from Universal Studios. This is also from the Cursed Coconut Club, so you could purchase these here as well with the entire banner. This is the great thing about the Lakeland Antique Mall though. You're going to find some really rare vintage items, some pins, Funko Pops, you're going to find lounge flies from all incredible vendors here. Inside of this case is a bunch of really fun items. They do have another Dooney and Burke crossbody bag. This one's from Winnie the Pooh. It comes with the uh, Winnie the Pooh leather tag for $250. They do have a ceramic pair of bookends. Look at the one has Piglet with some books. You got Winnie the Pooh with the honey pots and even have a vintage Winnie the Pooh stocking holder. So this whole section inside of this case is just all Winnie the Pooh. And they do have some vintage like banjos, fiddles, and guitars in this bottom section. It's a whole set of three. You got like all the main Disney characters. Mickey is on the smaller one, $279. They do have this entire, let's see here, Disney I should say World of Disney Christmas Tree, new with box. Okay, so this is brand new. You got Mickey on the top as Santa Claus with the reindeer. Pluto is like Rudolph. You got Cinderella Castle, that's $199. And talking about really rare items, how about this from Disney's Haunted Mansion? You have all three of the hitchhiking ghosts. These statues do light up. These are definitely quite expensive, but really fun to see. Some really rare pieces of Disney history. They are Haunted Mansion hitchhiking ghosts. You can own the whole set. Yeah, that is cool. You can purchase all three of them. Like, look at the half box ghosts there. These are really fun. And then right next door is another booth where you can get some really cool Splash Mountain items like this here framed artwork. It says Splash Mountain. Those are $35 a piece. You have Wishes, Fireworks Spectacular presented by Pandora. But there's also bins and bins. 
with uh, new Disney ears, old Disney ears. You never know what you're gonna find here. These are the frozen ones with all the rhinestones, the embroidered double bow, really nice quality. They do have from last year's Christmas celebration, the Mickey and Minnie Loungefly ears. These ones do glow in the dark. It has your uh, Disney Loungefly tag. Let's see what else we got doing inside of here though. Okay, so here's a pair that's probably new because I don't remember seeing these my last visit. How nice would these have been though for uh, Valentine's Day with all the embroidered hearts and the sequins. The same booth though has a bunch of different t-shirts. It looks like they're all adult size. This is all aboard the North Pole Express. You got Mickey, Minnie, and then Pluto pull on the sleigh. That is really neat. Let's see here. We got a vintage tank top with your Walt Disney World insignia. I like all the bright colors though. Let's see what else we got doing here on this rack. So you don't get to see too much Muppets merchandise. We have a Kermit the Frog picking the banjo. It says Country Roots at the bottom. And it looks like they do also have some spirit jerseys peppered throughout. So this is a Haunted Mansion one. It says there's room for one more. You do have the Hatbox Ghost at the bottom with the bride. Yeah, this one does glow in the dark. So this one's relatively new to Walt Disney World. And they do have that uh, tank top here for the Haunted Mansion. They still do have this at the character warehouse but it says haunted mansion and then all three hitchhiking ghosts at the bottom here's even a really nifty reversible table runner with stitch look at him there though a bunch of different facial expressions you got the pinch striping the circular patterns let's see what we got doing on the other side okay so stitch is riding the waves on the other side that one is really really cool Right up ahead, they have the Queen of Hearts cookie jar. This one actually is a really good size. A couple different cookie jars that they have inside of this case. They have Hello Kitty. And right underneath there are a couple different Disney princesses. Look at the Cinderella one though. You got the pumpkins, the carriage, like the whole front of them are painted with Disney and that is way cool. Perfect for Easter though. Look at these statues that they have. They have Mickey and Minnie. They have their Easter baskets with a bunch of Easter eggs inside. That is really adorable. And they do also have the Disney 2024 plushie of Mickey. This was literally just released in the Disney parks. So it's crazy to see that here at the uh, Lakeland Antique Mall. And it looks like they do have one of the Disney Hollywood Studios. Let's see here, drinkware. This is actually uh, Starbucks. Those are $40 a piece. And they do have an adorable little ceramic set of salt and pepper shakers with Stitch. You really have to take a moment though to look everywhere at all the different booths. Cause this one here also has some Magic Band Plus. Look at these here. You got a uh, Stitch. We got some uh, Stormtroopers. It says Galactic Empire. And they do have one from uh, Disney's Lion King. You got Rafiki, Nala, Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. I do want to show you because I found actually a couple more pairs of ears and here's a really fun pair of figment ears. And I do believe these are currently still sold in the Disney theme park so it's really neat to see those here. And right underneath there, these have been sold out in the Disney theme parks. You can purchase them here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. That fun pair of ears with Baymax. You have the little cat in the center, some band-aids. And here's a brand new pair of uh, Star Wars ears. These are the Princess Leia ones. Actually $28 a piece, like that is a pretty good deal. This one here is actually cheaper than you can purchase it in the park. And they even have a good assortment of lounge fly items inside of this uh, booth as well. This is the Disney Parks lounge fly with all the multicolored Cinderella castles, all of the main Disney characters, and they do have the matching lounge fly ears there with the same pattern on the bow with the black sequins. Let's see what else we got underneath though. So here's a lounge fly I haven't seen before with Stitch. He has a little turtle in his hand, all of the palm trees and the ocean. A good little selection though. These are all assorted different prices and they do have a great amount of lounge flies. Let's continue on our way though. As you can see straight ahead, they do have a bunch of really old like Legos and McDonald's sets going on over there. And here's a little cabinet where you can purchase a bunch of like cast member um, badges. This one here is for Kenneth. Back in 2000, this one is of Kenneth. He gave really some cool ones though. Walt Disney World from Brazil. Kenneth, it says the Jungle Book. Jimmy from Boston. Even some uh, mystery box sets here of different pins you can get. Yeah, this whole section is loaded with uh, Disney theme park pins. You got Mickey and Minnie together. You got Chicken Little. I don't remember ever seeing that one. I do want to take a moment though to see what else we can find inside of this case. Like look at these old collector's coins that they do have on sale. MGM Studios, Epcot Center, Animal Kingdom, Grand Opening, April 15th, 1983.
Even a great selection of Disney plushies that they have here. And it seems like every booth is loaded with some cool Easter ones. You have Mickey Mouse as the Easter Bunny. Look at them with the big floppy ears with all of the Easter eggs. That's a cool little uh, plushie that they have. Right up ahead, you got uh, Mickey and Minnie with their pajamas on with some stars, some bows, and some rainbows. They even have a little popcorn bucket here. It's literally just Darth Vader's helmet. Like, that is way cool. They have some Disney Fantasyland cast member costumes over in that section. Look at this though, there's an entire wall of assorted Disney ears back there. But look at over here, holy moly, they have a vintage lunchbox with thermos actually. It has the original stickers and everything, so that's as good as brand new. A bunch of assorted coffee mugs. It says vintage Disney style coffee mugs. You get mini Donald Goofy, the whole set of four. And right underneath there, this would have been perfect for Christmas. This is a huge backpack of Mickey Mouse dressed up as Santa Claus. That looks really fuzzy. Inside this glass case is a bunch of really rare items. You have Disney, Art of Disney, Snow White, Dopey, and Happy Dancy, Dancing Musical Figurine. Well, it almost looks like it has a Jim Shore display base. That is an awesome statue. And then right next door is a very rare Figment Valentine's Day plushie. That one's a limited release. You can see uh, Valentine's Day on his foot. And then right up ahead, they do have a Disney Tinkerbell light up uh, wings. That's cool, a little doll there with the Tinkerbell wings. That one does light up as well. This is what I mean though, you're gonna find boots with a little bit of everything. Like this vendor has a bunch of like old Hot Wheels uh, vehicles, which is really cool to see some of them. I used to collect those when I was little. And then they do have a bunch of assorted baseball caps. They have a Louisiana hot sauce and a bunch of different ones. I do want to continue on our way though and see what else we can find Disney related and Universal Studios. Here's a really cool statue of Minnie Mouse. You never know what you're going to find at the assorted booths here. This booth right up ahead is absolutely massive. It is loaded up with a bunch of Funko Pops and all sorts of things from pins to Funko Pops. I do want to dive right in and see what we can find. Right off the bat though, definitely that catches my eye. They have some really cool statues. Look at this one of Bashful. They have Dopey. Mickey looks incredible with that one. Those, the uh, dwarves here are $450. These must be some of the rare Funko Pops that they do have behind the case. Here's a Funko Store limited one. It looks like Mickey Mouse there does glow in the dark. Let's see what else we got to do when we have Thor Ragnarok. This is back from the 2019 Summer Collection. Right next door is one of the vaulted. Um, let's see here, we have Gaston for $50. Even the uh, Madame Leota light up lamp. This is incredible. They do still have this at the Disney Character Warehouse, but you can purchase that here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. And how about right underneath from Disney's Haunted Mansion? They have Ezra inside of the uh, buggy ride vehicle. That one's a Disney Parks exclusive. They even have a good assortment of autographed Funko Pops as well. Like this one here of Diesel back in the old WWF days. That's signed by Diesel. Of course, Kevin Nash, $119. But Kevin Nash also played a Super Shredder in Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles. So they have that one signed. And a bunch of like Demon Slayer, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings sized, signed off Funko Pops. But they even have a good assortment of like your more common ones. I do believe over here is all of like your Disney related Funko Pops. This one here is Doug Days. It says Doug with metal. They have both uh, Christmas, Jack Skellington, and then Sally celebrating 30 years of Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. From Pinocchio, they have the Blue Fairy. Even some Funko Pops from Disney 100. They have Elsa from Frozen. But some of these are really awesome. Like, look at this metallic one of Minnie Mouse. This is a Make-A-Wish Funko. It has the heart little sticker there. Some from uh, Disney Pixar. Uh, let's see here. Monsters Incorporated. They have Soli with that same metallic design. A couple other characters from Monsters Incorporated. Even more from, um, let's see here, Doug Days, they have Carl, Mike Wazowski, and even some characters from Sword in the Stone. 
I really like this one with Tweedledee and Tweedledum. You don't get to see too many Funko Pops like that. You definitely have to look everywhere though, like I was saying, especially if you're looking for pins, because you're going to find some really cool ones at a bunch of different booths. This one here is the month of uh, January back in 2002 for Disney pin trading with Mickey Mouse. They have uh, Ariel the Little Mermaid in front of a very sparkly Cinderella castle. And a lot of these are even Disney Park ones, like this one of the original Florida Orange Bird with the huge Orange Bird gibbet in the center there. That's a cool offering. And they even have your Star Wars Valentine's Day one. It says BB Mayan. Again, that is another Disney Park uh, pin that they do have for sale. They're also dabbling into some of your Walt Disney World Marathon weekends. You have Mickey and Minnie. This is back in 2023. Now here's a really fun one of Grumpy. It says, ho, ho, no. Look at him there with the Christmas sweater. I actually want to come back over this way, though, because this booth has a ton of Disney Park lounge flies and some really cool ones at that. Like, look at this one here. It says Pizza Planet uh, Spaceport Entry. That is really, really awesome. I haven't seen that one before. They do have a Universal Studios gizmo. Um, this is a lounge fly. This was sold in the parks. Over here, they have a lounge fly of Wicket from Star Wars, a nice little wallet. Let's see what else we got doing, though. Okay, so in this cabinet, I don't believe this one is lounge fly, but that is really neat. I like the straps in the front with a huge pouch. You got a Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck. Over here is Snow White, and they do have a Donald Duck version with Huey, Dewey, and Louie at the bottom. Underneath there, these are all the same size. Some of these are lounge flies, like they do have the Robin Hood one, the Star Command with Buzz Lightyear, and Pinocchio. And here's some of your more current lounge flies, like over there in the back section is your lounge fly rescue rangers. That one is $80. Behind there is the Muppets lounge fly. Both of these offerings were over at the character warehouse not too long ago. They do have from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Diagon Alley lounge fly with Gringotts Bank. You have Weasley Wizard Wheezes, the dragon on top of the bank. Lots of sequence going on. So that one is cool. And right in the back section from Disney's Haunted Mansion, that lounge fly does glow in the dark with Madame Leota. That's a huge zipper compartment. Let's see what else we got doing underneath here. They have the Infinity Saga. Let's see here, Marvel Captain America lounge fly. Uh, right underneath, that one's really cool with Mickey and Minnie. They're like little snowmen with like a bunch of little snowballs inside. This booth here has a bunch of Disney like repurposed items like a bunch of like window panes It says one last splash you have Br'er Rabbit 1989 to 2023 with Splash Mountain that is such a fun piece that somebody actually created and then right up ahead You have Disney 100 years of wonder with all of the main Disney characters inside of the window that looks incredible You have Mickey Minnie Donald Daisy Goofy and of course Pluto and look at the little Mickey and Minnie at the bottom and let's see what else we can find at this booth, actually. This one is just loaded up with a ton of Donald Duck. I love what they did with his signature. It says Donald Duck Club, and then you literally have Donald Duck's feet kind of popping out the bottom. And they do have a really fun one with Figment on top of Spaceship Earth. Again, all this merchandise in the back section is from the Vault Collectibles, Disney and Universal Studios props. Underneath the signage, though, is literally a ton of assorted Universal Studios items. And I'm noticing some new things, kind of like right in the center. Let's see what we got here. We have the Headless Horseman. Oh, that's cool. $1,999 for that. Let's head a little bit further in, though, and see what we can find. A bunch of different ones. They have Scooby-Doo Monsters Villains created by Universal Studios, Dracula, $2,000. The, the prices here are definitely a little bit steep on some of the items, but you're not going to find these anywhere else. And here's some props used from the old Shrek 4D attraction, which was recently turned into Minions. You have the Iron Maiden cage, which used in the dungeon part of the ride. But if you look closely, like, you can see all the spikes on the inside, like, the doors. Like, this is actually pretty heavy. I know this is expensive, $8,500, but some really awesome different pieces of Universal Studios history. And here's the actual three little piggies boxes that would have been used part of the pre-show before you even entered the ride. They have those here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. 
Okay, so tucked away here in the back section is a lot of really awesome like Disney parks used items like this huge Christmas wreath that comes with all the extra Christmas balls. This was $250. It doesn't tell you exactly where on Disney property that was used, but that is really cool. And then over here they do have like a Disney Cruise Line themed Christmas tree with the ribbon with the uh, cruise anchors. This is for, okay, so this one's actually Disney's Yacht Club and Beach Resort, $295 for that tree, but they do have a great selection of different trees and uh, Christmas trees just all on this entire section. Also in this booth from the Seas with Animo and Friends, the attraction over at Epcot, the store, they have one of the uh, propped cases where they would put some of the different merchandise, so they do have that for sale here at the Lakeland Antique Mall, but I love that they actually show you like where in the store that was used, a cool piece of Disney history. And then way back in this back section, there is some framed artwork. These were used at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. This was before they started doing the remodel. You can see like the swans at the bottom and the Grand Floridian. These are only $90 a piece. That's a huge picture. You can always tell when you're getting close to the vault collectibles when it starts screaming Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney World. Like that huge source for a Mickey statue they have in the back. But over here is literally where it all starts. Here's some more lighting. This was used at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. $179 for that with all the trees and bears. Looks like they do also have some of the lamps as well. Like look at this, you can almost ring this in like dinner time. That is really cool. They didn't have that my last visit here. And they do have some of the Wilderness Lodge or Resort lighting fixtures that would have been up on the ceilings for $50. Some really nifty items kind of peppered throughout here. They have the Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghost. Uh, this is the uh, Phineas one, the popcorn bucket. That's really cool. And then over here is the Mr. Toad popcorn bucket. So they do have a really good selection in their original packaging, which is nice. They have Timon. I do believe Timon was a sipper. It says Hakuna Matata on his lanyard. And then right underneath is yet another sipper of Dumbo the Flying Elephant. They must be getting a lot of these items here from Disney's Grand Floridian. Here is one of the uh, prop chairs that would have been used in the resorts and the rooms, like maybe even at the restaurant. Okay, so it actually does show you. So this is actually used in the uh, room, $179 for them. They actually have a whole set of four of them. And how about this wrapped canvas that they have of uh, Disney's Haunted Mansion? That is $60. They do have an entire section here dedicated just to the Haunted Mansion. Like they redid this whole um, piano not too long ago and this looks incredible. Let's actually check out some of the different items that they do have. Here's some drinkware. It says Madame Leota Haunted Mansion from Regions Beyond. $27 for that. And here's a coffee mug that I haven't seen before. Constance Hatchaway. It says RIP. The handles, the hatchet, and it says Haunted Mansion for $26. Lots of really cool resort used chairs like this one here from Disney's Polynesian. This was used at Ohana restaurant. Again, it shows you where they're at here at the tables with the same backing and the same leather seats. Those are $179. And they do have yet another Grand Floridian chair. These are $80 a piece with the uh, blue pattern and it has the heavy wood. But check out the backside here with the uh, Mickey all embroidered on the back. If you are looking for a little bit of a cheaper take home from the Shrek ride, they do have the 3D glasses that were used on the physical ride itself. They have an entire basket for only $5 each. A few other items here for Universal Halloween Horror Nights. They have the little boo zippers that were sold in the parks. It says HHN on the backside. These are $18 a piece. Let's see what else we can find here with Halloween Horror Nights. I love all the little boo merchandise. Like they had so much cool stuff. These are the plastic cups. It says Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios, and then boo a bunch of times. $16 a piece for them. But you're even going to find some of the items here from uh, Universal Mardi Gras which is right around the corner. You have the King Gator. This signage is from 2022. Let's see here, $199 for that and some more insignia from uh, the Crew Crawl for uh, Universal Orlando Resort. Steampunk Planet, it says, $189, but it has that cool medallion in the center. Some really awesome items peppered in the back section. This one's from the Haunted Mansion. It's a huge hatbox ghost um, bust. 
$995. That is so crazy cool. And look at all the different little boos that they have in the back section. Like you have little boo as a clown. You have one where he looks like he's ready for men in black. And even like a steampunk, steampunk little boo. Let's see what we got doing. This little boo character was used as part of Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 2023. This was actually used in Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium there at Universal City Walk. A few other really cool Disney take-homes. They have some of the Disney Resort used telephones. This was from Disney's Beach Club Resort. Actually has a room number 4592. $25 for that with all the uh, original keys. And then right next door, they do have a couple from Disney's Grand Floridian. These ones are a little bit more expensive, $55 from room 8340. A few other really unique items. This was used at Disney's Animal Kingdom Parade Prop. This is part of the wheel covers on the Jeep. These were $95 a piece. You can actually see where the little circle is, where the like the uh, bolts would go through. That's really cool. Some framed artwork from Disney's Castaway K. It says the rock here at the bottom. There's actually a little piece of the rock. These are $295 a piece. Then right over there, this one's actually from Disneyland. Looks like it has a bunch of assorted um, pins kind of peppered throughout there. Yeah, some really cool pins in there. The, that is $395 from back in uh, 1998. And then right next door is another cool framed print and it also comes with the pins. This is Disneyland 60 years art and pin set. Really neat though. You have like Mr. Toad, you have Dopey, Mickey, Chip and Dale, Mike Wazowski, and Dumbo on the top. $295. They must be running a deal on these All-Star Resort used uh, Starlights. These are only $30 a piece, but they have a whole slew inside of this basket. Really neat to get actual light that was used at a Disney Resort for only $30. I always like to check out the cast member awards that they do have behind these lockers. 20 magical years, you have Simba on top of Pride Rock. $395 for that one. And right underneath is an awesome award celebrating 35 years with Pinocchio, $696. One of my favorites though, this one is from 1999. It's the Partners Award of Excellence with Walt holding Mickey's hand. These all come with a nice wooden base, $1,295 really cool photo op that they have up ahead is the uh, train vehicle it says disney's uh, wilderness lodge railroad you actually have a little cardboard cutout of walt disney himself in the uh, caboose this is really awesome though I like to come and take your picture with they have a statue of director mickey in the backside but right underneath is a sorcerer mickey statue it's pretty incredible fantasia mickey cast retirement gift this was 795 dollars for that and it looks like they do have some lighting in the back section it's like uh, popcorn boxes i do want to see where these guys are from these are from disney's all-star resort okay so these are sconces that were taken out of the resort 125 dollars a piece they also have a few different Disney Resort use chairs in this section. This one was from Disney's Riviera Resort, $125. This actually looks like pretty close to brand new, so that's a cool little find. And then over here from Disney's Yacht Club Resort, they do have this chair. Look at all the different like anchors. I'm kind of looking for some hidden Mickeys, but I'm not seeing any. But this one doesn't have the ottoman. It does show you where in the room that was used, $125. Always take a moment to check out the items behind the glass cases because you're going to find some really rare things. Here's a Disney Imagineer hard hat. The cast member's name was Cindy. $395 for that though. You have Sorcerer Mickey there on the back side. And then you do have an honorary Imagineer one. It has a little Sorcerer Mickey hat. $395. Let's see what we got doing in this back section. Oh, it looks like they do have a whole like little uh, statue of Figment. That's really neat. And the wrapped canvas behind there with Epcot and Figment looks cool. That's uh, $295. I had such a fun time today hanging out here in Lakeland, Florida, checking out all of the awesome merchandise at the Lakeland Antique Mall. They got you covered though from your lounge flies, your pins, your ears, really rare Disney and Universal Studios items. 
it's always a pleasure coming out, doing some Disney treasure hunting. Like I said, you literally never know what you're gonna find here. 45 minutes from Walt Disney World property. If you'd like to further support the channel or you're interested in any of the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out our Patreon page. I'll add a link to that in the description box. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.